This isn't the post game of Superland. Yeah, I know. It's just we have new releases in the puzzle genre. That's not the most frequent thing. We're playing the Sojourn at the moment, and it looks beautiful. I have no idea what the puzzle content is like yet, but it looks great. A new Sojourn. Look at that. Look at that. Invert. <laughs> Got it. Favor frame rate? You can't change. Oh, right. That's for PS4 Pro. Playing it on the PS4. Got a press code, which is neat. In this particular case, on console, which is not my go to choice, but I'll take that over paying for the game. Sure. What you doing, sky jellyfish? In the purple void? Mm hmm? I think one of the upsides of playing on console with games like this that are all cinematic or beautiful is that my camera scrolling is less jerky than a mouse usually. It's got that going for it. Whoa. Even the pot? My instinct is, is to smash. Invariably. This pot must be destroyed. Ah. Stairs. You must die. I cannot be allowed to live. I found a little hop. Hit. <laughs> we open our eyes in hopes of seeing what lies before us, but all we realize is how alien our world is. Right. Ah. Hello. The birth. They're both wearing these pendants. Oh, even the baby is. Oh. Whoa. My first reaction is like it's like the little chimes from Journey that they're spewing out. All three of them are wearing these pendants. Makes it feel culty. Look at this out here. The whole village of very regularly shaped houses. Probably made of mud or clay. Because you don't see masonry in there. It could be concrete, I suppose, but that doesn't seem like the right thing. But look at look how huge this light tower is, if that is what it is. With an, like a monstrously oversized staircase for the size of the people that would be able to climb it. Maybe suggesting giants of some sort. But we got floating islands. They very like even more saturated than the No Man's Sky's tr first trailer sort of color palette. Hmm. Whoa, another one. Okay, I wouldn't expect more of than one of those towers to be around. Is that a, what is that? That's just a rock. From this angle, you see that it looks like there's a rim here, so I thought it was a horn. Like a, a war horn or something. It's definitely like bleached out color. 
it's so bright that it's hard to make out what you're looking at sometimes in the direct sunlight with some of the stuff. Alright. What do we have? Also, what are the mechanics of this game? You leaving me? Alright. So we have these reoccurring pots. They have a sun pattern on them, spiraling outward. Very reflective. Makes you wonder what they're, make, what they're made of. Parts of the game are so bright, they actually make me squint. There's a river down there. They have houses that seem intact, but they don't have any kind of sidewalks or streets or even visible pathways for people to step that have, like, created by walking. There's kind of a storm of, of blocks. Almost like the place was never inhabited. It's just a facsimile of life. Baby. Big fat baby. Huh. We have knights with swords and armor. Might be worth noting that there's two of these guys. The flying spire, the flying light things, there's, there's now two, like a pairing, like these two, for example. We got an old wizard man. Like, almost hilariously wizard-like in his appearance. Even a glowing gem in his staff that's a different color? Makes me wonder the, what these guys are, like, as statues. When even the statue has that kind of detail. We got a fat merchant. And nothing over here. Step into the flame. This grants you a special power to enter the dark world. Now we're getting a close up of these buildings now. As we can see above. And yeah, we can make out the fact that they're just one continuous thing with no bricks. You can see the cracks here and there. Whereas that's brickwork. Creepy. Start moving around to see how you consume this power by walking in any direction. Oh, I do. So my ability to be in the dark world is limited. These walls are covered in cracks. Like everything's kind of, every texture is kind of swimming and, and fragmenting in that realm. If there's anything to be accomplished with that, with this perspective shift, I don't think it's necessarily doable there. Oh, you're the golden snitch. We're playing Quidditch. Gotcha. I'm gonna win the game. We first picture the world as a piece of art, painted with the unknown that our eyes observe. I'm actually finding myself like squinting or looking away from time to time because this game has been so bright. 
It seems to be doing it on purpose, although maybe a bright white screen might not be the best loading screen. Maybe a bit unnecessary. Discovery. Ooh. Spooky. The bastion thing. Where the terrain grows around us. What was that? I heard more of the sound. First dawn. Blindfolded, they lead their children to their doom. Oh god, you can fall. <laughs> I learned something. Where am I? Oh, right back on the exact spot. Huh. Some kind of ritual or practice where these people walk around short, like, they're, they're walking around blindfolded and this kid is either guiding them or they're just taking him around despite not being able to see themselves. Certain platforms and walkways are only available in the dark world. Use the statue to swap places with it. You can only use statues when they are awakened. Step into flame first to awaken it. Uh, flame sounds bad for me to step into. Seems like it's very bad for me. Okay. There you go, Mr. Statue. Here I am. What was that? Jellyfish, what's that? Oh. Curiosity. You can move the statue anywhere by swapping places with it. Swapping does not consume the power of flame. Hmm. So go to, I'd imagine as far as my, yep, and that's going to run out. So we can switch with it here. And then it'll run out. And then I'm going to re-enable it and switch with it again. And now I can make the rest of the distance. Aha! So this is my progress screen. Anaphora. We seem to have a semi-reliable strategy established at this point. Of how we can start to solve this whole thing. Just don't walk too far on accident. Or I'll regret it. Ah. I can just double switch real quick and then I'll have my health again. Because right now that thing's hanging out at the origin point. I almost walked off. Lots of red tapestries around here. Small hindrance. What is this? We have a new vortex thing. The dark vortex. Hmm. The dark gate will be open for as long as there is a statue on this platform. Ah, so this is opened by a statue being there. But how do I get over here?
You can't swap places with that statue, the game says in a picky, picky way. Why can't I? This is not is it too small of an area. Oh, there's a way across, right, because there's a way across in, in this state, so I don't need to switch back onto this platform anyway. It just seems so intuitive to put the statue here, and then walk over there and switch places with them, but I, I guess that plan was bad anyway, because I can't get that far without switching with the statue along the way. Yeah. Basically, my entire plan was bad, and now I'm... And now it doesn't matter, because I'm past it. Uh oh I think a message just popped up and I didn't read it. That could be bad. Simple twist. Yes. I think what I do now is probably something closer to what I thought of a moment ago. What? My bad. I forgot to put the statue here. Really helps the whole process if the statue is on the life source. They're so close together that I didn't think about the distinction. Because this time I think we do want to take you all the way to this gate. Now, because I think I can get to this without running out. There we go. Aha. The gate is open. And the statue is home. Inner ring complete. Through the shadows. I have absolutely no concept of how long this game is. Ooh, water. Waterfalls running down those buildings in troughs. What a fantastic art style. Like this is like like right here. Like this is very desktop worthy, this image. Alright, so you called it a twist, so what's going to be wrong with my go-to approach of going over here? Now I can go through here. Ah, uh -huh. I'm going to run out before I get through here. But maybe I just want to bring him over here? Now the gate's closed, but can I just use my power through the gate? Yes. So we are, as the kids say, good. Whoa. Hmm. Seems a little impractical. It's just it's just fused into the masonry itself. That is a tarp that never leaves. You got to have a blindfold too. Hmm. That looks like it's floating. 
I think that's just floating. A bit concerned about that. Whoa. That is a massive aqueduct. At first glance, him getting... Uh, the child getting his blindfold to match his parents in what's clearly a ritualized system with the... All the, all the, like, the audience members and the sage character and their pendants and everything definitely feels like a bit of a religious jab. First glance. Hmm. A harp. Using this statue rebuilds nearby broken bridges for a short time. Neat. I'm guessing I can only use it when I'm in this stay, so I want to walk as close as possible, then click. Overture. Whoa. A lot more rain. Rotter. Not rain. I mean, once upon a time, perhaps, but... Rain is a strange way to refer to it. Nearly, but not quite. Hmm. The issue here is that this gate needs to be open, so we've learned so far a method of getting that, that gate open. But my way of closing gaps like that one is also using the statue. So I'm gonna need a better system. When I get over here, I can't... Well, now I'm... Now I'm out of my awakened state anyway, so we're in trouble. Ah. The creepy shadow gate moves and creepy little twitches. So what would I do here? We switch places with... So here's our first genuine kind of contradiction, which is what puzzles generally seem to be. Yeah. So we can only interact with either of these while we're in shadow form. I can get there relatively easily, but how do I, once I'm there, make sure the statue goes over there? Knowing that we can't switch with the statue here, so I can't just put the statue here and then put me over there. Because then if I could, I could just walk over here and switch places with the statue. To put the statue where it needs to be and me back there. But this place is not a statue-friendly place, neither is this one, most likely. Hmm. Definitely not that. Oh boy, is not that. I 
Okay, so I need to skip like this far, right? And you fit here. So, ring you, switch with that. Get in here. Uh, it's still too slow. I thought I could make it. I thought I could get it in the time it takes to run from there to there, drop the statue off there, and then I'd like come quickly skipping from like, cause, cause like, I'm getting from there to like here is like an okay amount of distance. Not the worst time to make sure I know the controls. Ah, you can rotate statues with L1 and R1. I guess it'll matter when inevitably one of them is like a mirror that reflects laser beams or something like that, as it always seems to happen. There's a swapping system, an interact system. There's definitely... we're gonna have some kind of mechanics later. I don't have yet. So yeah, there's not a, there's not appear to be a run mechanic. Which is what I was hoping for. But that's not the solution. But if I do this just right, maybe I won't have more shadow to spend. So I can get here, switch with you, then play the harp. There we go. There we go. I feel alright about that one. That was a good idea. Open up. And we'll see what comes next. Ooh. And we'll see how to solve that one next time.